Hey, I know it's been a while since I made any uh, videos about dreams or visions. First, uh, I wanted to share with you a dream that I had on October 11th. I don't know why it took me so long to make this video, but I couldn't upload anything anyway because they keep suspending me for videos. Anyway, I was talking to someone in the dream, and they looked and they pointed to the sky, and when I looked to the horizon, I saw a whole bunch of angels and they were all in these glowing circle thing, and they were glowing just like that, the gold. And they were picking up people, like they would pick up one person and put it in the circle, and then they would go up. And a whole bunch of them were doing it at the same time. And then I looked to my right, kind of, and um, there was another angel. And there was a person, it was like the outline of a little person, and it was tumbling. And it was tumbling down towards a house. And just before it hit the house, this angel that looked like the one in the bottom corner, it was like an outline, a cloud-looking outline, and it came down and picked up the person in, in the circle, and he went back up. And then immediately after that, it was like someone spoke directly in my ear when I was sleeping and woke me up and said, it's getting late. And I woke up and it like kind of scared me away because it was like someone spoke directly into my ear and it sounded like my husband's voice, but it wasn't his, him talking because he was sleeping on the couch. I don't know if you've heard my original rapture dream that I had. It was in 2010 or 11. Um, it was in this house that I live in now that I had never seen before. And I moved in here in 2015 uh, in my dream, I had a dog that hadn't been born yet. Her name is Phoebe now. Uh, I've had her since we moved in. And she's a little tan dog. And I knew that when I woke up from my dream, I said a bunch of certain things. One of them was we had a big blue van. One was my husband worked with his brother. One was uh, we had a dog that wasn't ours, but it was like in the backyard. That was a dog that was under our house. In the dream, it was like a long period of time. But fast forward and like pauses on those those few things that I remembered from the dream and that I said when I woke up that I had been to say out loud so that these days when I was meant to remember it I remember those key points and it tr triggered me to remember the dream at a certain time when I was already living here because if I had really thought oh this is the place of my dream am I moving in because I thought I dreamed it or what so I I wasn't allowed to remember it until a certain time, but in my dream, I remember at the end of the dream, right before I went up, I walked to the back of the house, and I had no way of knowing that I, my dogs would have their own room in the back of the house, so that was part of it. And I was about to leave, and I went and put my dogs in the back room and closed the door, and I started walking towards the front of the house, and all I remember was I had to go pick my husband up from work. It was a regular day, and it was 6.45 at night, and it was still light out. And I grabbed my stuff and I walked out the door. And when I went to walk out the door, I didn't take two steps out of my gate before I just started going up. And I knew it was rapture, even though I had never heard of it at the time. I didn't know what it was or meant or anything about it. But when I woke up, I knew what it was as if in the future, in my dream, I knew what it was. So I woke up knowing what it was. It was so weird. And that's what prompted me to read the Bible to begin with. That was in like 2010 or 11. And then we moved in here in 2015, and all, all the stuff that's from my dream has already happened, except for going up at the end. So what I'm saying is rapture is very soon, and I know that because that was only my second dream of rapture. I've had a couple visions of it, um, but that was only my second dream of rapture, and the first one was way back then, and then this one saying it's getting late was right now, a couple months ago. So I'm not saying it's any certain date or anything, but I, I know it's got to be soon because he wouldn't have did that with that dream. The way that he woke me up, the Holy Spirit is, has a way with the way he does things. And um, I had these other visions of the rapture. Okay, so the first one, uh, it was in 2019. I think it was in the summer. I can't remember. But I, what I saw was a hot pepper and then a bunch of things poking out of it, and then those, these people popped out of it, and uh, that was the second part, and then the third part was I saw the sun, and then I saw these little people, and the sun, like, 
sucked up the people within this bubble thing. And then right after that, I saw a disco ball, and it zoomed into the disco ball as it was, like, zooming into a, another scene, and it showed this little girl that was looking off into the distance, and in the distance there was a mushroom cloud. That was the first one in 2019. This other one is from February 2021. It was the last one, vision I had of the rapture, and it was, well, it was... And it was showing me in a different way because it was, this is what I wrote. I barely remember this one. The angel got bright and picked up the people and flew in front of the sun. And the angel moved and in the sun was Jesus facing away from me, holding a baby. The scene inside the sun swirled black and yellow. It was as if it was like turning into like a portal warp or something. Then um, I saw the same mushroom cloud-like thing off in the distance. So those are all the things about Rapture that he had shown me that I remember. And I figured I would add those on so that you'd have context of all the things I've actually seen instead of just that one first one. But be ready because it's coming very fast and very soon. You can see all the things escalating around us. The world isn't even hiding their evil anymore. So we know it's almost time. And all the people that are denying what's going on and the mark and all this other stuff that we know is already happening and these people are denying it, they are putting people in danger and not just themselves. Any person they could save or any person that you could save by warning them, if you don't warn them, then their blood is on your hands. And if you're denying something intentionally instead of looking to see that it's true, then you're intentionally denying them the warning you could have gained, gave them. You have to think more deeply and more spiritually in the way that we're doing things, especially now. Maranatha.